This time we're going to take a closer look at the Arduino Uno board, specifically the power supply part of the board and powering the Arduino. Because powering the Arduino is something many of us put little thought into. Most of us just simply grab our wall wart, jam it into the Arduino's DC jack, and go to town on whatever it is we're working on. The Arduino Uno's built-in power supply is one of the least appreciated but most important parts of the board. In fact, if your Arduino-based creation is giving you weird or spurious errors and you can't figure out why, there's a good chance the power supply could be the culprit. Here we see the power supply section of the Arduino Uno board. As we can see, the input power can come from a few different sources. We have the DC power jack, which is center positive in the lower left. We have the USB connector on the upper left, the silver thing. We have the V-in header socket and the 5 volts header socket. If you plug in both a DC power adapter, like say a wall ward, and a USB cable, the board automatically draws power from the source with a higher voltage. There's a small FET or field effect transistor to the left of the crystal that isolates the USB power from the DC jack to prevent it from backfeeding into your PC's USB port. Also, there is a series diode that prevents reverse polarity from the DC jack. Inadvertently reversing the polarity can destroy the board. Now, the Arduino headers include three power outputs, VIN raw DC, 5 volts regulated, 3.3 volts regulated. VIN is an output in the sense that the socket connects to the 5 volt regulator, which powers the 5 volt header socket and the rest of the board. But a word of caution is in order here. VIN is not protected by that series diode we mentioned earlier. It connects downstream of it. So swapping ground and VIN will ruin the board. When powering the Arduino, there is more than meets the eye, at least at first glance. Now, you'll notice two capacitors near the DC jack. The one on the right stores energy for power arriving through the DC jack. The specs on the Uno say that you can use up to 20 volts to power the board. The problem with that is these capacitors, and this particular one at least, are only rated for 16 volts. As you may have already discovered, electrolytic capacitors can fail rather catastrophically when their polarity is reversed or when pushed beyond their voltage limit. Now, note that some of the UNO boards out there do have capacitors with a higher voltage rating. Low-quality wall warts often have unregulated outputs that can exceed the ratings on the case, especially at lower current, so be careful with those. And if you have a board like this one with the 16-volt capacitors, one possible hack could be to replace the caps with ones that boast a higher rating, say 25 volts. The caps are 47 microfarad electrolytic capacitors. And this could be a good beginner's Arduino project and also a good insurance policy on your board. Just above that DC power jack lies the Arduino's 5 volt regulator. Now this device has a dropout voltage of around 1 to 1 to 2 volts depending on the load. Now what that really means is that that regulator is going to take up 1 or 1.2 volts. So what it means is it's going to require DC input of at least 6.5 volts to ensure that 5 volts comes out. Because again, 1 or 1.2 volts is going to get lost in that regulator. Here are the power-related specs from right from the Arduino website for the Uno. 